Hello everybody, Pro Tips for Paddy here. And today we're going to be talking about agent handicap betting. I have a strategy here that we're going to test and we're going to explain a bit more about agent handicapping as well. So then, in this video I'm going to explain what agent handicapping is and we're going to trial out a system that I'm going to be testing over 30 days. And after those 30 days then we'll have a look back at how this system for want of a better word, I suppose strategy is better, how it performs over 30 days. During the month as well, I'll also be uh, recording videos of each tip, so make sure and follow us on YouTube, and I'll be putting them on Instagram as well. The links will be below the video in the description. So first of all, what is Asian handicapping? I know some people are really scared, and they get a bit frightened of the term, and just, no, don't bother betting on it at all. So I'm going to explain them. They're pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So basically, Asian handicapping gives an advantage to the underdog by giving them an imaginary half goal, goal, goal and a half, etc. We'll get into that. The most basic type of Asian handicap bet is AH0, which is the same as a draw no bet. So say, for example, you have, say, Chelsea against Manchester United and you bet Chelsea AH0. You're betting on a draw no bet here. So if the result is nil nil, one all, you get your stake back because you haven't lost anything. Of course, if Chelsea win, you win some money. And if Chelsea lose, you've lost your stake. Where people get a bit put off by Asian handicaps is when they see something like plus or minus 0 0.5, plus or minus 1.75. And you know, for people who don't know, it can be a bit off-putting. So let me explain it then by using an example from this weekend's Premier League fixtures. This weekend then, Bournemouth are taking on Huddersfield at home. And they're 1.9 at the moment to win, so that means that they're favourites. The Asian line has been set at 0 minus 0.5. And the way you can find out where the line has been set is that if you go into the Asian handicap market and have a look at where the prices are pretty much even, that's where the line is. If we take the bet then of Bournemouth minus 0 0.5, our bet will only win in a certain case. Bournemouth have to win the match. They have to beat Huddersfield for our bet to win. If the match ends in a draw, we lose because Huddersfield will have won by their half goal advantage. And of course, if Huddersfield do win the match and Bournemouth get beaten, then we obviously lose our bet as well. Another example from this weekend's Premier League action is Liverpool are at home to Southampton. Now, Liverpool are strong favourites here. They're 1.4 to win. The Asian line has been set at minus 1.25. The odds for that are 1.9. But what does that mean? Well, if Liverpool win by two clear goals, you'll win your bet. If, however, they win by only one clear goal, then you'll lose half your stake. And should Southampton beat Liverpool at Anfield, obviously you will lose the bet. I've made a table for you all to look at so that you'll know what results you need for your bet to win. The link is below the video, so check that out. Okay then, so let me tell you about this Asian handicap betting strategy that I've come across. So we're going to go with the favourites here, but they have to be within a certain price range. So if the favourite is at home, they have to be priced between 1.4 and 1.7. If the favourite is playing away from home, then they need to be priced between 1.7 and 2.2. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the home or the away favourite at the line that the bookies set in the hope that they'll beat the line that's been set for them. Now, I've already told you what criteria needs to be met for us to pick our teams but you know we need to dig a little bit deeper than that we need to make sure that the teams involved are scoring goals and that they're playing against teams who are conceding goals so that we know that there's a good chance of them beating the line whether they have to beat uh, a 1.5 goal average or one goal average even a two goal average we'll see how that goes along as i said at the start of the video i'm going to share all my picks so i'll make short videos of those every time i make one now it won't be every day but every couple of days I'm sure I'll find a match or two here and there, and I'll share them with you just to keep a good record. Also, over on ProTipster.com, I've created a profile where I'm going to log all these bets, so I'm going to leave a link for that in the description, and you can follow me there as well to chart my progress and see how it's going over the month. You know, that's one of the great advantages of ProTipster.com. If you have a strategy or if you have an idea of certain bets that you want to try out before you place money on them, you can log them all on ProTipster.com. And, and you'll get your yield and your hit rate and all those kind of things. And you can see the, the, the odds that you're good at picking, uh, picks at and things like that. It's an absolutely brilliant resource. And I recommend that you should all use it if you have an idea for a strategy. So then, what's my first pick? Um, it comes from the match this evening between Italy and Sweden. As you will know, Italy are a goal down on aggregate having lost in Sweden. 
but I think Italy can cover the Asian handicap spread tonight. They're minus one at 1.96. It's a must win game for the Azori and I think that they can do it at home. I don't think Sweden are really up to much really. Italy were, were pretty bad the other night, I, I, I will admit. But I think with the Italians, I think you can rely on them to qualify. I think it's 1958 was the last time. I looked as well at how many times they covered this bet and in four of the previous five games they would have covered it. We would have, it would have had a push once, so push means you get your stake back, you wouldn't have won, but the bet would have won three times. Okay then, so that's pretty much it. Make sure and check out the links below. You can get the table so you can learn what kind of results you need for your Asian handicap bet to win. There's also a link to the profile I'll be using to log these bets on protipster.com. I think it's a brilliant resource. If anyone has an idea for strategies that they want to test out before placing money, I think you, you should use it as well. And uh, yeah, look, that's pretty much it. As I said, I'm going to be sharing uh, all my tips on video. So I'll put them here on YouTube, on Instagram as well, because they'll probably be quite short. Make sure and check out protipster.com where you can earn real money by sharing your winning tips. And subscribe to our YouTube as well, where you'll get daily videos, previews, and podcasts. Take it easy then. Good luck. <laughs>